welcome guys now let us discuss uh, another uh, one of the main component of the production uh, system production drawings uh, and that is lockout release so what are lockout release let's see uh, lockout release are showing uh, shown by uh, code uh, 86 that you should know, be knowing it lockout relay is an electrical mechanical relay which latches its output contact as the name suggests this relay once operated locks out the circuit locking out means that circuit cannot normalize until unless this relay is reset these relays have two type of coils operating and resetting coils and lockout relay is a latching relay used for characteristic uh, for catastrophic failures it locks out the breaker to prevent energizing the system and 86 require a manual reset or it can be also electrical reset from remote so lockout relay principle you should understand that first of all lockout relay is uh, used uh, can be used to trip the breaker and at the same time locking out the closing pulse or closing DC supply to trip coil so knockouts are used to connect uh, normally you are operated when there is some severe fault like a heavy fault is there and lockouts are operated for example in production zone 2 3 and 4 lockout can operate somebody has to come and have to recheck the condition physically in the protection panel and then uh, after careful checking everything carefully it can reset lockout and breaker can be closed when lockout is operated a closer cannot operate when lockout is operated a uh, breaker cannot be closed either from local or, uh, or remote depending upon the interlock diagram uh, lock, uh, just understand when the lockout operated it changes position and then locks you have to reset it mechanically or electrically to make it reset this is the uh, very heavy duty lockout relay it's a very famous relay in Aramco so yes you can see this relay uh, in our production philosophy we are saying that okay uh, have uh, uh, check the production panel uh, what are the indication and which lockouts are operated so there might be one lockout for distance relay one for differential relay one for over current relay so depending upon the schemes but it's uh, it has also a flag you can see when it will operate that this will become red so you will be knowing that this lockout has operated also it will change its position this handle will be in some angle these are the contacts of lockouts that you can use at various positions this is a simplest diagram of lockout when you want to operate you will just this contact will operate and it will this will operate the lockout and just we want to reset the lockout just it is a push button so when you press it uh, the lockout will be reset so this is the way the lockouts uh, are used I hope you understand it you will also see in the drawing how they are used thank you so here you can see we have lock two lockouts on this drawing page 86 Point 0.1 and 86.2 here so we will see how 86.1 is is coming into operation so this lockout is operated uh, through a differential relay name it is f 87l l is for line it could be t t for transformer b b for bus bar so when this contact is closed this lockout will operate and once this lockout operate the con this contact of F86 will close and then it will pass DC to tripping coil so this is how lockout is operating in the actual circuit so let's see where they have res provided the reset of lockouts so we can check it so here you can see a push button is provided and when you push it but the both lockouts will be reset electrically 
so this is electrical reset option with the push button and the two lockouts name f86.1 and f86.2 will be reset so we have seen the symbols here this is how you can show in letter diagram and also i have shown you in the drawing that how the circuit is so i hope you understand the topic thank you